we feel we've got no choice but to do this. Um, we'd be backed into the corner by the government. Um, it's not. It's about pay, but it's also about the NHS as a whole. We don't want to lose the NHS. The last 12 years of underfunding, mismanagement, it's come to this. The government are not willing to discuss it. Um, and we are here. I would like to say we are still providing um, emergency cover to the people of York today. Um, so if you do need us, do phone. The staff that we've got here are all as one. The vast majority of people are coming out and supporting the industrial action. And it, it, they know it's more, it's about more than just pay. It is about, like it says, it's the, the NHS as a whole, the ambulance service, our working conditions at the current time. It's about trying to save our NHS. The, our members want to save the NHS. The ambulance staff want to save it. But most of all, the public want to, and we need the NHS. So it will carry on until the pay is sorted out and the funding is sorted out. Uh, I've never known people leaving such numbers. So I've been here 25 years, so I've had, it used to be a job that you come in for life. People are coming a couple of years, leaving. It's a job we love doing. We, we, we love doing our job, but the last few years when you're sitting in the corridor with vulnerable and ill people, it's extremely stressful, obviously for the patients, but it's very difficult for us to do that day in, day out, and we are not providing the cover that we that, and the care that we can because it's just too underfunded and the hospitals are just up to capacity and patients are not getting the service that they deserve. We're very frustrated that we're not able to do the job that, that we want to do to provide the service um, and we need something to change and we will lose the NHS and, and we, we are passionate that we do not want to lose the NHS.